Hello friends. So, through the previous sessions, we have studied about the introduction to section of solids, horizontal section plane, vertical section plane, and then we learned about auxiliary inclined plane and auxiliary vertical plane. And we have done, I think, around 10 or 11 problems also in all these sections. There may be asked some other questions where the true shape of a particular solid will be given and from that true shape we have to obtain the position of the section plane or the height of the solid like that. So we have learned up to this we have learned auxiliary inclined and auxiliary vertical plane the front view of the section, top view of the section and true shape of the section. In some questions, true shape will be given and from the true shape, we have to determine the position of the section. So, before uh, doing a problem in that, let us recap what we have learned in the auxiliary England plane. Listen, consider or assume a square pyramid of some uh, base uh, and some height uh, and it is uh, cut by an auxiliary inclined plane so that uh, we have obtained uh, a true shape of the section or a section uh, or a section right listen if this is the square pyramid uh, which is placed on the ground uh, this will be the top view of the square square pyramid now This will be the front view. This is the front view, right? Suppose it is cut by an inclined plane, inclined like this. So this is the vertical trace intersect 2 points here 1 dash 2 dash 2 points here 3 dash 4 dash on projecting that we will obtain the top view of the section like this and this is a section that is a parallel axis. This is a normal so that uh, we can obtain the true shape by taking this value, right? By taking this value and intersect an arc here for getting 1, taking this value, intersect an distance here. Similarly, by taking this value, we will get a So that uh, this is the true shape of the section, right? Now listen, is there any resemblance be between this uh, top view of the section and the true shape? Top view of the section and the true shape. Yes. What is that? See, this is the shape of that uh, section and uh, section and this is the true shape. Actually, on looking both these images we can identify that eh? the true shape of the section is similar to this one but there is a little difference and the difference is this image there is a difference and the difference is this image you know this image is extended to a value for getting the true shape this is the distance in the top view if we extend this to a particular length then we will get the true shape. How it, uh, how it happens? See, this distance is equal to this distance, right? The distance between x i and this point. See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is again 1, 2, 3 and 4. The distance between x y line and 1 is equal to this one, right? 
the distance between x y and this one 2 is equal to this value distance between x y and 3 here distance between x y and 4 is same which means the distances from the x y axis is same in both the top view as well as in the true shape right what does it mean it means that uh, if we have a shape uh, the distances or the length the length in the y direction will be same both in the true shape and in the top view right or in the top view of the section see because we are taking this distance and this distance as equal which means the height or the distance in the y axis distance taken along the y axis will be same both in the top view as well as in the true shape that's why this distance is equal to this one this distance is equal to here this is same and this value is same which means the distances taken along the y axis will be same both in the top view and in the true shape then what happened to the distance in the x direction see we can see that eh, this is the distance in the x direction and eh, this is the length in the x direction and eh, this is the length in the x direction of the true shape this is the length in the x direction in the top view and this is the length in the x direction in the top view is there any connection between these two you can see that eh, this length is equal to the length of cutting plane the length of section plane understood so the distance in the x distance along the x axis is extended to a value of the length of the section plane in the true shape you understood see the distance in the distance along the x direction is extended to a value equal to the length of the section plane whereas the distance in the y direction distance along the y direction remains the same both in the true shape and in the section top view of the object ok we will repeat again the relationship between the true shape and the top view of the section is the distance taken along the y direction will be same both in the true shape and in the top view of the section and the distance taken along the x direction will be extended or elongated to a value equal to the length of the section plane in the true shape ok so this distance will be elongated to a value this distance for getting the true shape so if this is the top view of the uh, section that will be elongated to a value according to the length of the section plane whereas the distance along the y direction will be same both in the top view and in the true shape of the section ok so I think all of you have understood this uh, uh, introduction where the true shape of the section is given.